Welcome once again to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Now, let's uh, introduce our first major conversation for today, the PDP's National Convention, which comes up sometime in the month of October. And, uh, of course, uh, we're going to be speaking with uh, Mr. Diron Odeemi, as Deputy National Publicity Secretary for the PDP. Good morning, Mr. Odeemi. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, and thank you for having me this morning. Great to have you on Plus TV Africa. Now, let's first of all start with clarifying the dates for the National Convention and, of course, uh, uh, picking up of uh, uh, forms of interest uh, for, um, you know, hopeful uh, participants in the election. Thank you very much. Uh, according to the time we released as the National General Secretary, the Fire Commander uh, Nakobori, from the available from today, and uh, the last day for submission of the form will be on Saturday. Uh, on Monday, we are the screening of aspirants, and uh, the Wednesday, Thursday, the names of uh, successful aspirants will be displayed. And on the 29th to 38th, we will be having our national convention where national officers will be elected. Okay, you know, it, it seems like it is uh, pretty well, you know, laid out already for uh, the party. Um, exactly. One thing that has, you know, and I saw when this story was, uh, you know, put across social media, I saw a lot of, you know, the reactions. One question that was asked a lot of, you know, uh, uh, an insinuation that was made was that this really wasn't, you know, looking like it was going to be a free and fair process. That you know, some of the persons that will be picking up interest forms had already, you know, somehow, some way, been known, and you know, would be simply be given these positions. Um, can you clarify exactly, you know, how you know that is false, um, and you know, ensure that you know people who might have any interest can freely um, come to your convention and pick up a form, or come to you know, pick up a form at the PDP. He who alleges must be able to prove it. As far as I'm concerned, and as far as I know within the party, PDP remains the only party where internal democracy is a child, a party to the letter. Uh, I don't know, and I'm sure there has not been anybody that has been, or that will be disturbed or that will be bad from collecting nomination forms and presenting themselves for the election. Uh, of course, there are personal interests. And there are collective interests. And this is what you call politics. So whoever is interested must just go ahead and, you know, obtain a form and uh, present itself for the civic of the day and from there contest the election. Nobody, and I'm assuring you, nobody will stop anybody from collecting the form. But of course, you cannot rule out the element of interest there and there. It's collective, it is politics. You just have to play it as it is. As it is. I am presently the Deputy National Public Secretary. I'm still looking out to go and you know, go and buy from uh, people, friends, and colleagues to know if I'm going to contest again. Up to now, I've not, I've not declared any interest, and, and I've seen a lot of people aspiring to become the National Public Secretary of the Party. So we have about three, four aspirants now. So if anybody is saying they have been disturbed or they are anticipating that you know there will be pre-selection. I want to disabuse their mind that PDP is a party that gives equality to all, especially when it comes to internal democracy. You don't have to be the son of anybody. You don't have to know somebody or anybody before you can become somebody in PDP. Okay, pretty interesting. Um, but another factor with regards, you know, like you said, you know, anybody can simply obtain a form. Um, these forms are not free, are they? <laughs> In a in churches, preaching is not free. When you are when you get miracle, it is not free. You do ask me to come and thank God. And parties are not wrong, you know, free of church. Money you are spent on printing these forms, money will be spent to organize this convention. There will be accommodation, there will be transportation, there will be a lot of there will be value, there will be a lot of things. So these are some finance political party and that is why people must pay for the form nothing is free okay um can you clarify with us um what the price range is like for these forms 
I'm for the chairmanship, uh, for the chairmanship by the secretary, uh, three million, and for the NWC, NWC position, uh, two million, and uh, for other positions, seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars only. Okay, and, and and would you say that these are affordable figures? Uh, for persons who really are of interest in making a change through the platform of the PDP? Political party are self-financed. And uh, there are people who, without even contesting for an election, always contribute money to the party. And don't forget, even as a, as a member of the party, you, are, you have obligations to make information or to pay your dues as a doing, you know, to, to pay your dues to the party. So I don't see anything wrong with this uh, price. It's, um, it's straightforward, it's very easy. And uh, people, people, a lot of people will pay for it. Yeah, ab absolutely, and I understand that, you know, but of course, um, it, it, there has been conversations of, you know, being an inclusive party, a party that allows, you know, anybody, you know, who, of course, believes in a better Nigeria and wants to achieve those goals through the PDP to be able to, you know, do it under that platform. But 3 million Naira, 2 million Naira, 750,000 Naira, I'm sure, Mr. Deyemi, you would agree that, you know, those are not figures that any random Nigerian will be able to afford. That is not true, and I just agree with you. People in PDP are not poor. That's why the fact that they are not poor. They are not poor. And I can assure you that uh, there are instances and situations whereby even friends with Rally Randy, they see as a material. So it's not free. It's not going to be free. So there's nothing we can do about it other than, you know, to, to peg it at that minimal price. I wish if you compare to other political parties, you will know that PDP is. It's linear. Very interesting. Uh, we probably will get back to this before we end the, the conversation. But I now want to talk about the, the PDP as a party. Um, and one of the reasons, of course, I've mentioned this, and like you said, PDP is not poor. Um, but I'm sure that the PDP is also hungry to have many, many more people join the party, to continue to increase the numbers of, of uh, members that it has across the country and, you know, beyond. Um, so, so, Ms. Adeyemi, share with us, you know, how much that has, uh, the PDP has fared with increasing its membership in the last couple of years. There's people who have said that, well, since there have been uh, people uh, jumping and leaving the PDP, they, of course, move along with their hundreds or maybe even thousands of uh, followers. Um, so, do you think the PDP has done well enough in increasing its membership base in Nigeria in the last few years? Our motto in PDP, when it is the power belongs to the people. We believe PDP is in existence because of the people, and we believe it is being driven by the people. Of course, there are big names, there are big names, there are people you think, you see, that leave the party, and because of that, you are there, that they go with hundreds of thousands of people. It's not always the situation. There are people who believe that in PDP, that is where they can get free and freer membership. They believe that is the only political party that gives them the opportunity to operate as a Nigerian and in a political party. And right now, we have embarked on a membership drive through the internet. I mean, if you see the figure coming out from each state, we are becoming to be rest assured that in 2023, we have more membership than any political party in Nigeria. And this is the reason why BDP has become attractive to people who want to contest for an election, both internally as a political party, as a member of the NWC, and externally for the presidential position and governorship. So the PDP is solid, is a political party that, uh, you know, by the time you think uh, things are going wrongly for them, they will come, the way they are going to survive and come out, you know, will, will be like a miracle. I'm sure a lot of people will not believe that PDP will still remain, despite the little crisis we have among ourselves 
which you know is still in calm, but you know, as it is now, it is evident that the party is moving on, especially now that we are going into, into a convention. So, PDP is a party that a lot of people are joining, and a lot of people are joining on daily basis. This I can assure you, and like I say, can, can you give us any? I'm not sure if you will be able to, um, any figures. You know, as to the number of people who have joined online, because I saw those uh, links being shared across social yeah. media, asking young Nigerians to also, you know, take, you know, advantage of that uh, opportunity and get involved, um, or you know, register as members of the party. Is, is there any figures, you know, that you can share with us so, as to so how many to be people? With you, to be with you, I cannot quote any figure now because the registration is ongoing and I have not even gone into how many people have registered so far. Perhaps now that you're asking the question, I will, I will make sure I, I know the figure. Okay. Um, um, in conversations that I've had before with uh, certain um, you know, other members of the party, um, one of the things that I asked was you know, how the PDP itself is positioning itself to be a party that is attractive to young Nigerians, seeing the vast number and the, the percentage of um, young people that currently live in Nigeria and are Nigerians, our youth population is outstanding. Um, Mr. Odeyemi, yes, there are political leaders in the PDP. There are names that have been there for a long time. There are people who you know, currently are in the PDP that you know, we've always known about. But do you think the PDP has positioned itself in a way that it you know, looks inviting and accommodating for a vast number of young Nigerians to join the party and join its movement? As a political party that is uh, strategically planning to take over the government in 2023, and uh, seeing the product or the outcome of what the youth did with the NSAS that recently went past, the PDP as a political party has made it mandatory for women and the youth to take nothing less than 35 percent of our positions. And this will be evident in the coming convention whereby it will be dominated by a lot of youth and blended with uh, leaders who are experienced. You will see the combination of this in the, in, you know, in the end of the UC that we are going to hold, you know very soon. So that is to tell you that as a political party, we know the importance and the role of the youth and women in our political uh, emancipation now. So that is why I am assuring that I'm saying it categorically that even at the last net meeting, it was specifically mentioned that youth and women will have their quota in the formation of the National Working Committee. So that is already, it is as if you pick into what we can do, and we are just making it out. So it's in our plan. Uh, briefly, is there a possibility of a, a woman national, you know, chairman? Of course, people are free to obtain forms. The form is free. That would be very interesting. And I, as a person, will support any woman that comes out to be the chairman of the party. It would be interesting. <laughs> okay, Mr. Odeyemi. Um, <laughs> Now, let's talk about the PDP as an opposition party. Uh, you made mention that the PDP, of course, as it tries to, um, you know, take over power, the mantle of leadership in 2023, you know, will do what it can. Um, but I want you to share your thoughts with, uh, with me on this one. Do you think that the PDP, you know, will, you know, have a chance simply because it has done exceptionally well as an opposition party or because, well, Nigerians are tired of the current um, All Progressive Congress uh, government? Which would you say is, is more likely uh, the reason why the PDP stands a chance in 2023? I will go for the two. Both, not one. Of course, virtually every citizen of this country has become opposition to APC. Is it the sovereign of the people that you want to talk about or the insecurity or the bad economy? or lack of good infrastructure and, you know, everything in this country is upside down. So, all Nigerians are in opposition. And if you are in opposition, that means you are in PDP, you are supporting PDP. 
as we live here as a, as a political party has not, bad, has not done badly in opposing this government. We have exposed them enough in a decent manner and in such a way that we did not follow or told the line they told it, you know, before before coming to office. There was no name they did not call Jonathan. And there was no black name they did not name against the uh, TDP. But we know that the uh, oneness of the country is more important than the politics that we play. And we are not ready to play in getting with them. We have been decent. We have uh, exhibited a lot of morality. And the sense of oneness in this country is the way we oppose APC. And people know the reality. And people know the truth. And that is why we are not afraid that in 2023, Nigerians are going to vote and mark for PDP. And that is why up to now, people are interested in what goes on in PDP and against what is happening to APC. Mr. Ade, I mean, you know that I'm sure you know that there's a difference between, um, you, know, you know, like you said, you know, there's many people who are, you know, in the opposition um, and, you know, are currently very, very upset with the APC. Um, there's a difference between that and the PDP itself being an alternative. Um, and so that's what I want you to, you know, speak on next. As a, the opposition party, the, you know, biggest opposition party Nigeria currently has, um, do you think that the PDP has presented itself as an alternative? Do you think that it has also been able to, you know, not just criticize, but also share brighter um, or better ways of running government uh, compared to what the APC has done? Are people, like you said, interested in, you know, taking the current APC government out of power simply because they are tired of the government or because they've truly seen the, APC, the PDP as a viable opposition that knows what it wants for Nigeria? In my language, when you fall down, you look back to examine what made you to fall. PDP as the party has done that. We have re examined ourselves. We knew where we made mistakes, and that was why Uche Secondi made a public apology to Nigeria that we have never proved to be an encyclopedia of knowledge, and we didn't promise Nigeria that we are angels and we are ready to rule. But this time around, having left the having left government for almost 18 years and for almost 8 years now, we know the importance of good governance. And uh, we have our strategy. We have human resources. We have individuals who are so brilliant and are ready to take over the leadership of this country, who are in PDP. And we are presenting one of our best, one of the best to Nigeria. And by the time we make that presentation, through our free and fair primary election that is going to be conducted, Nigerians will know that PDP is actually ready to govern and win again. With brilliant manifestos, with assurance that we are going to put smiles on their faces, with assurance that we are going to correct the mistakes and the ills the APC has brought upon governance in this country. So we are ready as a political party, and with the way we are going, after our convention on the 30th of this month, you will see PDP in the new dimension and be proud of us in Nigeria. Well, um, I think, you know, of course, it's, it's had about seven years now to completely uh, distinguish itself, you know, as a party on a completely you know, new dimension. Um, uh, so some people may not agree with you. And, of course, uh, those are those people who say the APC and the PDP are one and the same. What Nigeria needs is a third force. What Nigeria needs is a new face. Um, Ms. Adeyemi, what would your response be to those people who believe that, really, it's been the same persons who have been in either of both parties, and they are one and the same, you know, um, you know um, uh, political party? I will clap for them. I will be happy if there is any new political party that is coming, uh, you know, on, on board. It's not that there are no political political parties in this country. There are too many. But how many have survived what both PDP and APD have gone through? There was a time, you know, she would represent himself as a candidate in this country. How many votes were taken together? Billy Momodi presented himself as a presidential candidate. 
there has been political parties in the past formed by the elite against power to give way to and all of them. So that part of the political party, since you are not going to bring people from Mali, from Ghana, from Togo, or from other places to run a political party, if we are, if they are still the same politician in this country, let's see how you know, they are going to make it. Let's see how they are going to good if they can build it. It depends on the leadership, it depends on the people. But you don't expect people who have left APC and PDP to say they are going to form another political party and come up with a different uh, ideology. I don't see that happening. I think the best thing for us in this country is to empower political parties. I believe in two political parties, especially when it was formed by the former military president, both the SDP and the NRC. It was extremely very difficult. It, it, it was extremely very difficult for Nigerians to, you know, to move from one party to the other. You are only limited yourself to either, it is, uh, either NRC or uh, SDP. I would want to see a situation like that in this country. So, but if there is a plan to form a third party, I work on them. Let's see how, how far they can go. But I'm sure if there are still politicians in this country, uh, I don't see them making any good. Well, that, that sounds more like, you know, whichever third force uh, will not be able to pull off what the PDP has uh, pulled off, and so you are stuck with us. Um, Mr. Ademir, isn't, isn't, you know, that what it sounds like? Can you repeat the question again? I think I'm saying your, your narrative sounds like the third force, you know, and whoever it is that decides to pull off a new party will not be able to gather as much momentum as the PDP has been able to gather over the, over the years. And so, Nigerians, you are stuck with us. That is exactly what I'm trying to say. That is exactly my point. And the best you can do is to make sure that this political... I, 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 I pray that we have uh, an electoral law that forbids anybody from moving from one political party to the other. Or if you do that, you will forfeit whatever position you hold in, the, in, in that political party. This will stop people from, you know, waking up in the morning to say, yes, I was APP yesterday, I want to join APP tomorrow. So that, that is what I would want our electoral law to streamline, but not the formation of too many political parties. And I don't see any thought for surviving the political, uh, surviving as a political party in this country. I don't see that. Well, let's see how it goes. Now, let's talk about zoning. It's one of the things that has made, made you know, major conversations across the country in the last uh, few months. Um, uh, what is the PDP's stance on zoning? Um, you know, there's been, of course, thoughts from Bode Jord, from Atiku Abubakar, and a few others uh, concerning zoning, the chairmanship position, and what that, that necessarily or immediately means that the PDP will be picking a candidate from the South um, for 2023. What we have done in PDP is to deal with the immediate problem. Though, with the mindset of solving whatever will be the outcome of future uh, issues. Zoning is essential, and I want to give kudos, kudos to the committee that did the political party, uh, the, the, the zoning of the office. And as delicate as that assignment was, they made it very simple for themselves by uh, returning positions that were in the north to the south and the one in the south to the north. It was as simple as that. But that will not affect the issue of the presidency. When, it come, when we could get to the bridge, we you know how to cross it. And I want to assure Nigeria that as a political party, we are strategic enough to know that we should present a candidate through which we can control or we can win 2023 election. So if I was waiting for the presidential, let's leave that up to you know we get there. Right now, the immediate problem or the immediate issue is, the, is putting the uh, lay a very good foundation you know, for the party, so that whoever is going to be our candidate, we have a very strong footing to campaign with. Yeah, but Mr. Um, when you when you say that, of course, what you've said now is that the PDP, uh, the PDP will pick a candidate, you know, that has, you know, a, a very strong chance, a strong footing, and is, you know, most likely to win in 2023. Is that what you're saying? 
That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, but if, if, will it also be important if you read the room around Nigeria um, and hear those people and those voices who say that they would like to see a candidate from the South, um, which would be of more importance to the PDP? Um, a candidate from the South or a candidate that, you know, more and more people want to see, or a region that more people want to see, or a candidate that is more likely to win? In mathematics, 2 plus 2 is 4, but in politics, it may be 10, it may be 9. Don't create PDP. We are capable of stringing surprises when it is 5. If we are going to choose the president either from the north or from the south, you just hold your bread and wait for us. We are going to choose from the right place at the appropriate time and you will see us in action. That's the best way I can answer that. Is the PDP also open to considering a candidate from the southeast? As it is now, it is open to all zones. By the time they all come out, the PDP will do its clinic, we do its assessment, and we give to Nigerians what they want that will make us to win 2023 election. Oh, well. Um, I hope that we'll have time to come back to that. Uh, and now, I want us to move over to uh, talking about the possibility of a merger. Um, I've seen that, uh, of course, uh, Kingsley Mogalu and uh, the ADC, as they are called, a new party that are also seeing what they can do uh, to win, you know, um, the, the seats in 2023 and maybe also um, on the state level um, across the country. Um, aside the ADC, I'm sure that there will also be other candidates. Is the PDP open to a merger between itself and other parties to grow in its strength, um, um, you know, as the 2023 elections uh, move closer? The door of political party of is always open. And that is why you see people who can go out, you see people who can copy. There is nothing wrong in coalition and there is nothing wrong in cohabiting so as to win election. PDP is always open to individuals and to groups and to political parties that want to merge and forge ahead with them. So PDP as a party does not at any time close its door to coalition of people coming to join them to achieve success at the polls. So, so will the PDP be open um, if that you know, possibility came of taking a person like Kingsley Morgalu under its umbrella? Um, that is exactly what I said. We are open. We welcome everybody. No political party will ever reject anybody coming to join them. It's never done. The more the media. And this is it is the number that the families who win an election. We will continue to to look into ways to get that number to be able to win the election. Okay. Um and I, I also want us to talk more on the um you know the the air around the PDP and the narrative that a lot of Nigerians and I've seen and I've read, um people speak about certain persons like Atiku Abubakar, um and you know if he is, you know, the direction, you know, that the PDP really should be taking at this point. Um, and, I, I, of course, I don't expect that you would speak, you know, ill of his chances or ill of him as a person. Um, but, you know, is the PDP also considering, you know, that it needs an, a fresh, you know, face, a new, you know, energy around its, it, the, the party uh, to get my, more Nigerians to believe in it? You are asking me a question that I have not even had time to think about. What is uppermost on my mind now is the 29th to 38th of this month's convention. Um, we are an orderly political party. We are very organized. It is one step after the other. And just like I said, when we get to the bridge, we know how to cross it. Um, I think we have other people who might want to come out. Let everybody come out. That is what the party has said. Through this zoning, all zones are free to present a candidate and all individuals are free to come out to aspire. When it is time, the PDP will screen. The PDP will conduct a free and fair primary election. And whoever emerges as a candidate, we, by the special grace of God, become the president of this country in 
Dear Ronde Amy, um, I truly enjoyed this conversation and I'm going to you know, keep uh, uh, this in mind that you said 35% women and youth, um, you know, that of course it will be, that, that is what the PDP has uh, decided must uh, stand in the uh, convention. And also, you know, the PDP is also welcoming young Nigerians to join the party, among other things. Uh, but thank you very much thank for your you time so this morning and uh, looking forward to speaking with you again. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I, I, I enjoyed the conversation too, and I'm happy to be with you. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. All right, stay with us. When we come back, we're moving from the PDP to the APC. And, uh, of course, uh, little bits of political discussions here and there in the All Progressive Congress, internal politics mostly. That comes up next after the short break. Good morning.